Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about order by clause. So, order by clause is mainly used in SQL in order to sort the data by the columns of your choice. Okay, if we don't use an order by clause, then the data would be sorted in a default order that might not be uh, in sync with your requirement. Okay, so order by clause is an optional clause in in a select statement. Uh, just like where clause is, is an optional clause. So the mandatory clause is uh, select column list from table name. So this syntax is a mandatory syntax. Additional clauses like where and order by are optional clauses. Okay. So the syntax of order by clause is order by column names. You can put one column name and you can or you can put multiple column names. I'm going to explain that uh, uh, while doing some examples on the actual Oracle screen. Why would you use more than one column name? Okay. In short, you would use one uh, one column name if you want to sort the data by some specific column. But if there is a tie in that column, then the second column name would be used. Okay. Uh, now, instead of using column names, you can also use column positions. This column position uh, is uh, would be the column position in the in the select column list. Okay. For example, if you're selecting three columns in your select column list, then instead of using the column names, you can say order by two. That would mean the second column from the column list in your select statement. All right, so we'll do some examples. So this is just a summary of uh, the concept of order by clause. Now everything will be uh, cleared once we do some examples in our Oracle screen. Okay, so this is my Oracle Express screen. I'm already logged in. So let's take a look at the table we have that we were working on. So the table name was employee. So uh, I just did a select star from employee. So this is the data we have in the employee table. Now you can see the data is basically being given to you in a default order which happens to be the order of the ID column here. Okay, I might not like this order. I might want to see everything in a uh, sorted by the name. So I can simply add an order by clause, order by name, and I'm going to run this query. Now, as you can see, Oracle has now listed the same data in a different order, and this is the order of the uh, of the name. Now, I might want to see the names of all my employee sorted by their salary, so I can simply say order by salary. Okay, so run. Now everything has been ordered by the salary. I might want to see everything sorted by the department. So I can go order by department, DEPT, which is the column name. Now uh, you see first all the employees of department 10 are listed, then all the employees of department 20 are listed, and then finally all the employees of the remaining department are listed here. Okay. So let's say uh, we have a tie here. Uh, we have three employees of the from the same department and we have another two employees from uh, department 20 so we can tell the system if there is a tie then we like to see the data ordered by the ID column okay we can provide another column name here so this will only kick in if if we have sim same uh, values in column 1 only then the second order by uh, column would kick in otherwise this would be totally ignored so in this case let me run this query so now you can see, I haven't run the query yet, just notice uh, the ID sequence here. Within department 10, the ID sequence is 6, 2, 1. Now I'm going to run this query now and notice the, the ID sequence within department 10 has changed to 1, 2, 6. Okay? So first Oracle is trying to order everything by the department name and if there's a, there's a tie within the department number, no, so not the name, department number, then within that department everything will be sorted by by the second column which is the id column okay so that's uh, pretty much it about the order by clause now uh, just to let you know uh, let me let before i tell you that let me uh, give you another example so let's say if there's a tie within the department we want to order the data by the name column okay let me run this query now as you can see first this name starting with A has been listed, then the name starting with uppercase H has been listed, and then the name starting with lowercase H has been listed.